Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Photon Programming. Now in the last video, uh, we looked at some uh, operator precedents and uh, operations, how certain operations are being done in Fortran and uh, how, what, the, what, is, and what is the order in which the operations have to be done in Fortran. And that order is nothing but PEMDAS. Okay, now in this video, we look at we'll uh, you know try to uh, debug a problem that that happened to us in the last time okay this problem is is when we you know if you guys remember <coughs> excuse me sorry if you guys can remember uh, in the in, in the initial pro in the in the previous the video before the previous video we were trying to calculate the area of the triangle using heron's formula with all the variables to be to be uh, integers okay but when we compile this we got one warning stating that uh, it says that warning okay let me just write this up for you guys warning possible change of value in conversion from real 4 to integer 4 now what does that exactly mean here okay since it's just a warning we we'll just execute with it okay now uh, this looks perfectly fine that doesn't make any changes at all okay uh, doesn't make any changes at all okay fine now let me give some other values some other real number uh, values for which the area will not be proper okay uh, something like you know uh, 8 4 5 okay now I, I, I am pretty sure that this area this uh, for this triangle the area will not be proper okay the area will not be proper in this uh, notation watch we compare this we still get the error now the area of the triangle is zero now how did that happen now the area of the triangle is cannot be zero but how did this happen uh, this is a little picky right now watch suppose if I were to change this to real i think our answer will come out, come out to be perfect now let's build this no problem and then run this yeah perfect the area of this triangle is 8.8 .8 something uh, units now how did this ki this kind of a thing happen we have a triangle whose area is non zero and but the uh, but the area value is printed as zero now how did that that's because of one concept called as Typecasting. Now, what exactly is typecasting? It is as follows. See, uh, when you do some arithmetic operation or ex arithmetic operations like this, there are a few things that has to that a compiler has to consider and conserve while doing the process. First thing is first thing it does is first thing you should conserve is that that the the direction in which the operation to be done. Mostly, the compilers will do from left to right left to right and do it and uh, and left to right and after doing all the answers the answer gets saved uh, or moved from right to left so the uh, the operation begins from left to right like this and once the answer is done the answer gets stored from right to left like this so that's how the opera that's how the operation goes it's like it goes from here and then comes back here that's it now the most important thing is the conservator property what does it has to conserve is that it has to conserve the data type that is of, a, of the fun of the variable used see uh, if this is real what happens is that yes this s will be real s minus a will be real s minus b will be real s minus c will be real the product of these four numbers will be real and the power of this number is also real so and since the area is also real what you have is that on both sides you have a real number uh, equaling a real expression which will ultimately end up in a real number ultimately end up in a real number a real expression which is ultimately ending up in a real number but suppose if I were to put this as an integer suppose if I were to put this as an integer what happens is that this product s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus p will be a, will be an integer no problem but the power function converts this into a real number when an in integer number gets converted into a real number 
okay some truncation and all happens some truncation st- some truncation stuff happens uh, which i'll you know explain you guys in a si- explain you guys in a simple way okay for now let us assume uh, two more integers let us assume two more integers for our convenience uh, d comma e and uh, real two real real numbers two real numbers uh, uh, f comma g okay let me write this here okay now d is equals 4 and f equals 6.7 okay f equals 6.7 these numbers are valid because d is an integer and f is a real number perfect now watch now if i were to assign g a real number equal to an integer d integer value d okay and this number e which is an integer equal to the real number f okay let me just print these numbers print okay uh, d equals d equals comma d uh, and space uh, f equals comma f okay i'll print the I'll, in the next line i'll print g equals comma g comma and then your space e uh, equals comma e now if i add to you know this will just still throw me a warning so i'll just convert this into real just to avoid the warning so just compile this no yeah it will still show this error no uh, show this error that doesn't matter i build this look what happens d is 4 i assign d to 4 i assign d to, i assign d to 4 okay sorry i assign uh, d, d i assign the value 4 to d and when i print d here d gets printed as it is when i print f when i pr- say f equals 6.7 you know there are some you know quirky things in fortran not a big thing but just a small quirky thing because i haven't used any formatting it prints six as six point seven or six point nine 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 but don't you guys worry the accuracy and precision will be taken care nothing to worry about it now the funny thing is not the funny thing the most interesting thing is when i assign g to the value d to the value four because d is actually takes four if i assign g the value of d to g and then when I print g, the re- the integer number becomes a real number. But when I assign 6.7, the value of 6.7 to uh, the real integer number e, what happens is that the points, the, the real number becomes an integer number, and worse, the fraction part of it is truncated. This is what hap- uh, this is what we call as typecasting and truncation errors during typecasting. Okay, now. What happens is, uh, what happens to the value d is that this value gets promoted to a higher value. See, integers actually are lower numbers, and uh, on top of it lies for, for uh, lies real numbers. So what happens is that this lower number four gets converted and con- gets promoted to a higher number, four p- uh, higher number. So an integer is becoming a float on on a direct basis. So this is called as type casting in which a real number a float b- integer becomes a float whereas here in the case of e okay a float number is is ca- gets is getting demoted to an integer when that dem- when that ha- thing happens that the fractional part of is cut off maybe during our calculations here in this area of this tri- area of the triangle what happens is that maybe <coughs> What what happened is that maybe this value might have you know uh, the might might have turned turned out to be an integer I mean a float number or something. Uh, this this might turn out to be a real number, but but there are some intermediate inter- intermediate uh, process that find give us a, give us the value of the square root, and that square root in during the process of you know truncation and other stuff 
it will ultimately turn out to be zero and that's what i can guess because inside the number inside the square root operation when the square root operation is being called there are a lot of process that happen in underneath it and during that the possible type casting truncation is, could be the reason why this value turn out to be the area to, area of the triangle turn out to be zero when it when these were tri- i mean de- de- defined as uh, defined as integers and uh, uh, i just add one more thing to this video before uh, before we shut before we close this off uh, before we close this off uh, frog uh, fortran is actually case insensitive now what do i mean by case ins- insensitive watch suppose if i write this thing to be capital p or somewhere in the program to be capital g this suppose if i write this as in capital okay and if i declare this variable to be in capital f okay and in this area uh, i define it to be area like this and when i print it here i define it to be uh, area like this here i type this in entirely in small letters area okay now if i were to uh, compile all this i won't get a warning this is the warning i get uh, because i'm using these two here okay uh, i don't want this so i'll just comment them out yeah by the way commenting is a nice way to you know uh, uh, remove certain op- similar uh, certain codes that you want to reuse them but do not want to delete them from the code okay or something like that when you so i comment them out now if i just compare this it just throws another warning that i haven't used them okay that uh, gne yeah it's just a warning that i haven't used gne that's that's okay that's okay now that's that's okay now if this being said it doesn't throw any warning now if i were to you know run this file it will just work perfectly fine despite the fact that i change the values here and there often that's because fortran is by default case insensitive so even when i just change a program name like this triangle area and i keep the name and keep the name at the bottom as it is i just compile this it doesn't throw any error and when i run this it doesn't throw any error at all now this is one feature that the in fortran that may not be available other for other uh, compilers and stuff this is called as i mean this is actually called as uh case insensitivity of program of fortran but this is only possible in fortran so this may not be possible in other programming languages so you have to be a little cautious with that okay and that's all i have for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial